Billings West golf coach Marcus Strange had big plans this summer. He was going to golf in tournaments all over the state. Early June came though, and he found himself at the rehab hospital of Montana. So he was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. It was harder because I, I had so many things planned for the summer and I had so many things uh, going on that I just, I realized quickly that I was not going to be able to accomplish and I wasn't going to be able to go and golf. I wasn't going to be able to coach. I wasn't going to be able to, you know, throw the ball with the kids. I wasn't going to be able to roll around on the ground with my kids. And it, that was tough. Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rare condition that attacks the peripheral central nervous system. It can affect the nerves that control muscle movement as well as those that transmit pain, temperature, and touch sensations. In the case of Drange, he lost the ability to walk essentially overnight. In the hospital, I figured out that uh, I did not know how to describe how to take a step. And it was just something that was, you know, you learn it when you're, you know, not able to communicate very well. And at one year old, you're, it's easy. You know, you figure it out, you stand up, you fall down, you get up and you keep going. And when my PT and OT were kind of asking me about, hey, describe to me how you take a step, I'm like, you just do it. Strange attacked his rehab and spent just seven days at ROM, eventually returning to a full-time coaching gig. He's still trying to get back to the level of one of the state's best amateur golfers, but just being able to play again has been a blessing. I had him actually out on our back green. Um, we were actually chipping balls around, working on some balance stuff, so he was starting to get back to that functionality level, enough to where when we discharged him, I was comfortable saying like, yes, you'll be fine going home. I see you returning to golf again. I see you kind of return to your life in the near future. So. I got to get back and I miss this and I want to do this. So next summer, I definitely am going to dedicate some time. I want to go to, I, I was signed up for so many different events last year that I had to withdraw from. So I'm ready to basically sign up for all those again, get in and, and go and compete and see how it goes. You know, expectations are probably low, but at the same time, I just, I want to get out and compete. Strange's story of success was a motivating factor for Rom's most recent Guillain-Barre patient, Mary Wagner of Haver, who'd been an avid runner. Mary went from being completely independent to bedbound within a matter of days in early November, eventually spending nearly four weeks here in Billings before being discharged earlier this month. Wednesday, my, my legs went numb and I had a pain down my spine, unlike anything I've ever felt before. And basically, my husband just drug me around the house from room to room and yeah I had heard Marcus's story and that he was back teaching like within two or three months and I thought that's who I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just like him even though he's probably half my age <laughs> but I, I really was thinking about him. Wagner and Drange both have had positive recoveries, but with the unknown nature of the path it would take, whether it be weeks, months, or even a year, they were fighting the toll it took mentally too. I mean, I laid, I remember laying on the hospital bed telling the ER doctor, like 12 months, you're out of your mind. Like there's no way this is keeping me down for a year. Um, and to be kind of back on my feet close to 100% just five, six months after the fact, I feel